I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at Tone! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think if anything, dead sex showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sex more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downing Street. They want to keep us scared, harness us with, with mind control, suck every last ounce of usefulness out of us, and, and even in death they'll sell off our bodies. And what do you suggest we do, Crypto King? Go underground. Deep enough, no electric signal can get you. It's the only way. Well, thank you to all of our callers today, and thank you for tuning in and scouting for the... is worse than I thought. Ah, uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Okay, yeah.
I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Well, what kind of manual override? Do I need to lift something or break something? Downstairs later then. <laughs> Free country, yeah. Look where that's got us. A secret entrance. Very cool. Hello? Is anyone in the dark? I do I turn on the lights? Registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exit, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. <laughs> what a joker. I never write drunk. Also, Sabine sent me. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. Hello and welcome to today's episode of The Upload. We're talking about the optic and how it's changed our lives. Now, as you remember, Bloom announced a new version of the optic at the recent Tone Conference, but we haven't heard too much about that since due to the dramatic events there. Let's cast our minds back and consider the technology. I mean, the optic changed everything. It lets you see things in AR. You no longer need a smartphone. You just have the small implant that sends signals to your optic nerve and lets you see... Ah, that's it. I'm reconnected to the network. Downloading our database, news archives and... Oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. But the whole world thinks DedSec did the bombings. So who are the real bad guys? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton... Well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Wow. You should be dead for sure. How come you're not? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. 
A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. Right now, DeadSec is like London's number one enemy. I want to smash bad guys, but I don't like getting shot. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DeadSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? I'm not afraid. Let's get to work. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DeadSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DeadSec kit. Hello and welcome to today's episode of The Upload. We're talking about the optic and how it's changed our lives. Now, as you remember, Bloom announced a new version of the optic at the recent Tone Conference, but we haven't heard too much about that since due to the dramatic events there. Welcome back to The Upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0, the city operating system that's now powering all of London. For those of you who need reminding, as if anyone does at this point, CTOS was first used in Chicago in 2014 and then San Francisco in 2017 before coming here to London. And every time it's been rolled out, it's been pretty much an unmitigated disaster. For those of you who are listening who are lucky enough not to be here in London's chaotic scenes, it's worth remembering that the Telecoms Tower is now owned by Bloom. The tower looms over northwest London. It's always been a communications hub, acting as part of the UK's television and communications network. Although... We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on.
You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur bot. Under my block, find the weak point. Just like that. Yes, nice one. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance? Just like that. Gear in order? Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now. Be calm. Pretend I'm an old friend. People may be watching. Oh shit! You're dead sick, right? You gotta help me. The fuck do you want? Fucking Clan Kelly. They done it now. They're going around smashing windows of mine, trying to get protection money. That's just terrible. Yeah, and the feds won't do shit about it. I even gave them the names of the two fucks doing the smashing. Forget those useless fucks. We'll handle your problem. Don't worry. Worth a shot, innit? Do me a solid. And I'll repay you sometime. What's the job? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. That is how Albion have taken all of their power. Keep everyone afraid and they don't fight back. So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? Yes, let's do this. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. I've got your coordinates for those two Clan Kelly goons. Scrape their optics for data. If I've learned anything about humanity, it's that there's something in literally everyone's text history that can get them arrested. Yes, I understand. Getting arsehole and throwing bits of metal around has got to count as training somehow. Come 
Sign of the target. Over. Alban is everywhere now. Their brand is all over the city. They mark us and taunt us and claim to own us, but they can never own me. We will fight back. There's going to be that much less once you're done here. Let's give Camden a break from these eyesores. Check.
If you hijack that scissor lift, you could use it to access the rooftop. They're not getting away that easy. Fan out. Drone, search. Move a muscle, yes, you're dead.
Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. What do we do now? You need to steal information about Albion's plans. That'll give us what we need to really put the hurt on their operations. Be calm. Pretend I'm an old friend. People may be watching. Are you with DedSec? I have information you'll be interested in. Yes, I'm hearing you. My entire division was laid off a few weeks ago. 300 people made redundant at once. That's just terrible. I'm all right now. But something about the firings has continued to bother me. Unless they secretly cloned us, no company could replace that many workers of our skill set immediately. We're being lied to. Okay, so you want DedSec to find out who replaced you, yes? Precisely. Help me, I'll help DedSec. It's a good deal for you. A tech corporation acting unethically? Sounds out of character, but let's investigate anyway. I'll check it.
Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. If Albion owns the courts, that means they can arrest and put in jail whoever they want. It's bullshit. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation.
Begley, what do we have? A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the fuck? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help.